This is a short video for demonstrating how you write integration tests in Wing. For those of you who don't know, Wing is a program language that combines infrastructure and code together, designated for writing uh, uh, cloud systems. Um, and uh, I'm going to go through the code. The code is quite simple. I have a class shortener here, which contains a, a, a bucket here, as you can see. So we instantiate a new bucket as part of this class. And then uh, this class has two functions, a create and a get. And the, the idea here is basically to have some kind of mapping between short uh, IDs into, uh, into URL. So we have a create function that accepts uh, uh, two strings, a key and a value, alias and a target, and put this in a file with the, the file name is the alias name and the, target and the content is the target. And then we get a get command that accepts an alias, uh, the alias is the key and returns an optional string. Quite simple, we're gonna see how this is used. So I'm instantiating this, the shortener, so this will create the cloud bucket inside. And then I create a, an API gateway, so using the, API, the cloud API. And now I have two functions for this, uh, uh, basically two uh, endpoints for this API. I have short alias, that is a post command. And uh, basically what it does, it creates this, and then returns 200. If something is missing, it will return uh, 504. And the get, uh, uh, HTTP get command basically goes to the uh, shortener and get the alias and returns a 307 status command, which is the redirect with the location target. Uh, let's see how this thing works. So I'm going to do wing run main.w and this will open uh, this view here. So now I have a view. This is a, a local simulator running inside my computer. And we can see the cloud API, the shortener, and actually the file is over here. So we see this is all, there's a, an old file here, so let's delete this uh, from, from before. Um, okay, so uh, let's see how this works. If I'm gonna go, I have an API gateway, I can go to the API gateway, I can go over here and do a short uh, A. This should return a 404 because I don't have, so because I don't have any mapping. So let's create a mapping. I'm gonna go over here. I'm going to post an alias. The alias will be called A. The body will be HTTP, HTTPS, uh, www.google, you, you know, I, I'll go with NBA, nba.com, and I send. And the result should be an A file with nba.com, okay? And um, so now let's test this thing, okay? So let's go into short A. And I automatically go to nba.com, as you can see. Nice. So this is the functionality of, 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 uh, of our uh, um, uh, system. Now I want to test this functionality. I want to write an integration test to test this functionality. So uh, let's do this. So the first thing I want to test is, I'm going to write a test here. So the first thing I want to test is, uh, should get 404 when uh, uh, no alias found. Uh, and I'm going to do this with uh, http.get. I'm going to get uh, uh, api.url. This is the, a the URL of the API. It, it already exists in the setup, so I can, I can run this locally, and this will, test will work, and I can run this on my staging, and this, this test will work, or in production. And we're going to see a little bit about this later. Uh, and then short, and then let's call it A, and let's uh, give it a redirect. I, I don't want uh, the system to redirect uh, automatically, so I'm gonna do I'm gonna do uh, request redirect manual. Great, and I'm gonna get a response here, and let's do expect uh, equal. I'm gonna get a 404 from response dot status, and let's run this here locally, and it works. And uh, let's do another one. As you can see. Uh, I got the 404 here. Uh, and this test, by, by the way, one is in isolation, so I can just write the same test and do um, set alias and get it. And uh, let's do the same thing, okay, like this. Then let's do like this. This should get a, this should get a 307. Uh, but before, I need to do a post, right? I need to go over here. And let's do a post command, uh, short A, but instead of giving it the redirect, I'm gonna give it the body. And let's, uh, do, let's go with uh, HTTPS, www.winglang, 
dot io okay now i got a body here and let's let's take a look at the log dot uh, result dot body oh, dot header here header and uh oh no oh sorry i want to print this this is uh, okay let's take a look at this and uh, I, once I save this, it automatically shows this. So let's run both tests. And uh, oh, I have an object object here. Okay. So let's, let's go JSON string reply. Oh, it's not a JSON. Okay. So it's not going to work. Right. Okay. So I can JSON stringify this, and I have the header here. Get this other way and I get location. Okay, I need to check the location. Okay, let's do this. Let's get me back here and let's test the location. So let's do expect equal uh https w ringlang io and let's do res dot headers dot get location let's do a typo here just to see if it actually and let's run this so i like to see my test fails before they pass just uh, for okay so this test fails. this looks good let's see why it fails it fails because i have an extra w here now i'm going to fix this now the test is going to pass okay great so we're making sure you can see this cleaning this i have two tests that pass and i have tested my application without doing any mocking which is important it's important because I can now do wing test main.w and this will something that will put in part, as part of my CI. This will test that the system works locally. But I can also go into this test and do minus T or minus minus platform. So I'm giving it a, a platform target and the platform is TF Terraform dash AWS. And this basically means uh, instead of uh, this being a, a cloud API that is in, uh, implemented locally with Express, I think, and the and the uh, cloud bucket, which is implemented locally with just a folder, this will become an API, a real API gateway for AWS and 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 and, and an S3 bucket. So, I'm, and I, but I want to run the same test. So let me clear some room here, and uh, so. And let's run it. So what would it, this ha does a couple of things? First of all, it compiles this to, to Terraform. And the second part is going to run Terraform in it. And then my two functions, two test functions here are going to be uh, transformed into a Lambda function. And then it's going to run those Lambda function and return the result. Um, so we're going to see this in a second. It's still in Terraform apply stage. So we're waiting for, for this to apply. This takes a little bit of time because we need to, uh, Terraform applies and needs to create an API gateway. And I think we have uh, a bunch of, uh, we have a bucket here and, and a bunch of uh, functions. We can actually see the output uh, if we want. Uh, there's a nice view while we're waiting. We can go to the playground. I'm gonna paste this here. And if I wanna see what is exactly that is getting uh, created here, I can go to uh, the AWS Terraform. And I can actually see all the resources. So I'm in, pl in my playground. And I can actually see all the resources that are being created really, really easily. So I have an API gateway, some Lambda permission, an S3 bucket, IAM policies, uh, um, IAM, I mean, there's a bunch of stuff here. I mean, there's, uh, there's, the, there's, there's a bunch of stuff here. So just, you can go over this. And while I'm waiting, I see that my two tests has passed. As you can see, two pass tests. And now it does Terraform destroy. It's going to destroy everything. So uh, it leaves my cloud uh, environment intact. The only thing I needed to, to, for this to work, I needed to have a Terraform running so I can do Terraform offline. Once this works uh, on my AWS account, I can just write and execute tests either locally or on the cloud. That's it. Uh, integration test without any uh, mocking that runs both locally and both on your designated platform. Thank you for watching. Check us out.